Hi everybody, Team Yamix here and today I want to have some fun with you. Yeah, and I know this topic is overused, that you must wonder why the hell is this guy doing just another tutorial about this teal and orange color grading stuff. There are so many tutorials about this look already out there and tons of LUTs and most of them are promising that's the best LUT ever and this technique is the best of all and so on and so on. And you know what? Many of these techniques are great and technically correct or just creative, whatever. And you may asking, is there a reason why I'm doing just another tutorial about the teal and orange look? And my answer is yes, it is. Let me explain it shortly. I know many techniques to achieve this look and sometimes I wonder why the heck are so many people doing it in a complicated way? Technically spoken, it's just a simple two strip along the skin tone line on the vector scope. You all know that. And there's a very simple trick to achieve this technically correct two strip by just some clicks. It's not the this changes everything technique, nor should you do it only this way. Nope. But it's really an alternate way and much more flexible than other techniques. And therefore I decided to share this simple and flexible technique with you. Interested? Here we go. As always, the first step is to correct the exposure of your footage in front of the following steps and make your white balance correctly if you want to achieve good results. It's base rule number one. You know, I've already done it in this first note as you can see. First, create a Zaria node, then jump to the RGB mixer in the blue output decrease the blue to zero and increase the green to one. And that's it. Let's have a look on the vector scope. As you can see, we have a very clean two strip, in my case on the red cyan axis. And all we have to do now is to add another Zaria node and under the primaries on the color wheels, slightly turn the U towards to the skin tone line. If you now increase the saturation, you will get a very vibrant teal and orange look. But wait, there's something more. If you start playing around with the U value, you will recognize that you have a very flexible tool to adjust the look to your need. Maybe you wanna have a bit more reddish, bluish look, just turn the U value more to red or push the gamma to orange or something like this. It's up to you. The trick is that you can turn this two strip to every shade you want. Okay, not every shade, but it's very simple. You don't can deny it. With this technique, we only switched the blue with the green in the blue channel. That's the whole trick. But what we've achieved is a flexible and clean way to adjust the look to our needs without pushing curves or adjusting the primaries. Quite simple, isn't it? This in technically view is a very accurate two strip, very flexible without a lot and replicable as often as you want and independent of the used footage. I don't say that's the best way nor that's the only correct way, nor that you always should use this way. No, by no means. It is what it is, just another teal and orange technique. And as I mentioned before, there are many other great techniques and tutorials out there, but maybe it's a technique which gives you more flexibility than others. Anyway, I promise that's the only teal and orange tutorial I'll ever do. So stay tuned and for some other great upcoming topics. And if you are interested in this, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching and listening. You all a great time. Bye.